Hello traders, Rich here, and here's a quick but detailed update on Bake BNB. As usual, for those who know me, know that we start with the weekly and daily time frame to know where we stand in the market. Are we overall bullish, bearish, or stuck inside the range? And then we'll zoom into lower time frames to look for buy and sell setups around the key rejection levels or zones identified from higher time frames. So now we're starting with the daily time frame, and we can know that we can see that we are overall bullish, right? So price is making higher highs and higher lows. And when we are in a clean uptrend, price tends to retest the previous high. Let me give you an example. So impulse movement, price made a high, corrective, then price made an, the next impulse break by breaking the previous high, then price retest this high before the next impulse started, right? And we can see that this is happening right now. Here we go. So price made a high, just like here. Corrective, corrective movement, impulse, impulse. And now price is retesting the previous high. That's why we are looking for buy setups. So this area acts as a minor support area. And yes, we can also draw a trend line like this. So this trend line acts as a non-horizontal support, which adds more confidence or strength to, to our zone. But let, let me draw it as a laser line. And we, we both know that it's not a laser line, it's an entire zone like this, right? But to make the chart cleaner, and let me make it 0 0.005. Here we go. And of course, as mentioned, this one is, should be like this and this, okay? But for now, let's make it cleaner. And we also have, as mentioned before, this one, 0 0.003, which is also a very, very strong demand area as price made an aggressive movement upward from it. So long story short, we'll be looking for buy setups here, unless price breaks below this entire area with many big bearish candles, then a movement to our lower rejection area, or which, which acts as support in this case, and we also have a demand, in this case, we'll be looking for buy setups around here. But for now, let's take it step by step. We're on support, we'll be looking for buy setups. Now we'll zoom into our time frames and look for potential uh, setups and extra confirmation and triggers as usual. So we are currently, from a short-term perspective, we are overall bearish, right? But from a long-term perspective, we are impulse corrective, impulse corrective. We are currently in the corrective phase. So from a short term, we can see that we are in a downtrend which is the corrective phase of the, the long-term bullish trend, right? So that's why while looking for buy setups, especially that price is currently sitting around a support area, as I already mentioned from daily. And we can see that we have for this bearish trend, we can see that this trend is coming to an end. Why? Because first of all, a downtrend would have low lows and lower highs, right? So big impulse pushing price to the downside, Small correct, big impulse, small corrective. We can see that we have a sharp, aggressive impulse, then corrective, then a flatter uh, impulse, corrective, then an even flatter cor uh, impulse, right? So we know from this impulse getting flatter and flatter, we can know that the sellers are losing strength, right? So the momentum may be shifted soon. And, and of course, the buyers aren't in full control yet, but from this, we can see that the sellers are tired and the buyers may kick in any time now. Of course, price can still trade lower, right? But, but, but we, since we are around support and we can see this, we're looking for extra confirmation. And if we zoom a little bit in, so impulse corrective, impulse corrective, we are currently in the in the impulse phase and we are waiting as price around support to look for a reversal to buy and to catch the next impulse from higher time frames. If we zoom in, we can draw the strand line, right? So one, two, three, it's a valid classic or what I call typical trend line, one, two, and three, right? But we don't buy immediately when the trend line is broken as price can still, as it can still be a fake out and price can still go lower. We always wait for extra confirmation and trigger, right? Which would be 
after a momentum candle close above the previous high in this case because price is bearish and we are looking for a reversal and if we extend this one you can see that we this is also a minor support and resistance area so price it was acting as support previously resistance and price broke upward and resistance and we are currently sitting around it right but anyway let's let's not com complicate it let's keep it simple and let's keep it clean so let me draw it like this and for extra confirmation of course we always try to get that extra confirmation which gives us an edge of the market let's wait for a break above let me here we go above 0 0.055 perfect here we go so so for, for conservative traders <laughs> like me of course can wait for a momentum candle close above this one to confirm that the buyers now are taking over for now we are still overall bearish right and uh, big bnb can still trade lower and lower as mentioned before if price breaks this one uh, with many big bullish bearish candles from daily we can expect a bearish movement around 0 0.03 in this case we'll be looking for new buy setups to fall that's it for Big BNB. Best of luck, and I'll see you on the next one.